unit. So, in the last video, we learned what is block. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will urge you to watch that video first and later on continue with this video because it will help you to understand things better. The video link is in the description below. As the name indicates, blockchain is a chain of blocks that contains data or information. This technology was first introduced in 1991 by some group of researchers who wanted to timestamp their digital documents so it cannot be tampered with. But this technology went unused until 2008 when Bitcoin was first introduced and which made this technology popular. Whenever a data is recorded in a blockchain, it becomes difficult to change. To understand this, let's understand what is a block. A block contains data or information which depends upon the type of block. In case of Bitcoin, this data will be sender or receiver's information and the transaction account. It also contains a cryptographic hash code of its previous block and this effectively makes a chain of blocks and this is why it makes this technology more secure. Along with this, it contains a hash code of this block and its data. And every time there is a change in data, the hash code changes. To understand, let's consider these four blocks. Every block has its own hash code and an hash code of its previous block. Here, the fourth block points towards the third block. The third block points towards the second block. And the second block points towards the first block, forming a chain. Now, this first block is special. It cannot point to any previous block because there are none. And this block is called the Genesis block. Now, if someone changes or tampers with the data in the second block, its hash code will change. And this will make all the following blocks in the chain invalid. Because due to this change of the hash code, the third block will not point towards the second block. So, changing a single block will make all the following blocks invalid. But using hashes is not enough to prevent tampering. Now, computers are powerful enough to calculate hundreds and thousands of hashes per second. So, you could tamper a block and recalculate all the hashes in the following block to make this blockchain valid again. To prevent this from happening, blockchain uses decentralization. No single party or organization can own the chain. Instead, it is a distributed ledger via nodes connected to the chain. Nodes can be any electronic device which maintains the copies of the blockchain and keeps the network function. Now, when someone creates a new block, it is sent to everyone in the network. Everyone verifies this new block to check if it has not been tempered with. If everything checks out, each node adds this new block to its own blockchain and validates it. All the nodes in the network create consensus. If majority agree that the block is valid, it gets added to the network. And if majority does not agree, it does not get added to the network. Therefore, blocks that are tempered will get rejected by other nodes and it won't get added to the network. Now, there is a possibility of a 51% attack in which a party can take over the majority of the peer-to-peer -peer network and change the data across the nodes. Only then, this tempered block will become accepted by everyone else. But this is also almost impossible to do so. This blockchain technology can have many uses and cryptocurrency is one of its popular applications. Some other uses are NFT, DeFi and other smart contract applications. We will learn more about these in our future video. You can subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for future updates. In this video's description, I have included a website link where you can go and create your own demo hash code and understand its function. So you can surely check that out. Also, if you have watched till here, type decentralized in the comment section below. So now you know what a blockchain is, how it works on a basic level and what problem it solves. Thanks for watching and insanience, keep exploring, take care, meet you soon.